hide with what was with that had everything in it, what was available in the market at that time. Individual driven wheel motors, electric PTO, etc. etc. Everything that was available at the market at that time. From there, the journey continued where we, to 2021, where we showed a concept drivetrain, of which we were one of the finalists at the, at the DLG. And here we are today, awarded with a silver medal, the hybrid CVT. What is this? Hybrid, two energy sources, powering unit. In this case, this means we have here a standard 180 horsepower vehicle, of which the engine was boosted up to 260 horsepower with a completely new designed front axle. Completely new designed front axle means in this case, this is independent suspension, and we have here a, a diesel engine powering a generator, and in this case, the new designed front axle is actually driven by an electric motor. So we have here a standard CVT drive line on the back and an electric drive on the front. The combination of diesel and electrification or combustion engine and electrification opens up a whole world of possibilities. The biggest advantage of electrification is, is that we have full torque available at low RPM. This adds to driving comfort, this adds to efficiency and it adds to productivity. The function set so, that we are talking about here, of which I'm going to go deeper into on a few of them, for instance, the first one, ECVT. ECVT, what do we mean with ECVT? We have 180 horsepower drivetrain on the back, maximum 110 horsepower electric drive on the front. ECVT in this case means I can drive with the front axle by the four wheel drive clutch. I can actually power the rear wheels. This means up to 110 horsepower, I'm driving fully diesel electric. This brings efficiency because we are also at that time bypassing the regular CVT. E-torque e -torque factoring, e-torque filling, two functions that I'm going to highlight now are working a little bit together. E-torque factoring, what do we mean with e-torque factoring? Those of you that have driven in a tractor and know how a tractor works, we have a front axle that is always on a standard tractor running a little bit faster. Two, three, four percent, depending on how the tires are set up. This means faster driving front axle means slip, slip means power loss. You're not able to put the full power into the ground. In this case, here because of the split drive, we can make the front and rear axle run more in sync. This means we can put the full 260 horsepower into the ground. We have more traction, up to 8% more traction. Because we have more traction, we can also drive faster. It also brings fuel efficiency. E-torque filling. E-torque filling, what do we mean there? We are driving with a cultivator, for instance, or a plow. Everybody knows it. The motor is always is, is always working. It's always changing in RPM. With e-torque filling, what we see here, because of the support of the electric drive, full torque, low RPM, we see that the motor is running much more constant. The peaks are coming out. It's running much more constant. This adds to efficiency. This adds to lifetime as well. We have. And this also adds to speed because you have a more constant speed. Efficiency, we have seen up to 15% even fuel savings. The next one that we are going to talk about, e-steering. Maybe the word already says it. E-steering, what do we mean here? We have here the front axle separately driven, as I already mentioned. I can also make it run faster. Faster means I can do a quicker headland turn, for instance, reducing my uh, turning radius by about 15% means I can I can turn around quicker, I'm re quicker ba back in the furrow, ready to go. E-boost. E-boost, what does e-boost mean? Here, the electric system works together with the electric motor and we have on this unit super caps, condensators mounted that can store a lot of energy very quick and uh, can also expel it very quick. 
This means that we have 50 kilowatt available at an instant for about 15 seconds. This is for instance when you're driving into the field, you drop, drop the plow, the motor always has to catch up again. There's always a lag behind. Here we have 50 kilowatt at an instant available closing the gap. Or we drive up to the stoplight, just when we get there the stoplight turns green. Here we also have 50 kilowatts right away available, electric drive to help us and speed up and we are quicker on speed again. E-braking, e-braking is also a very interesting function. E-braking means the electric system works also as a brake retarder. Brake retarder means adds a whole different dimension on roads, on safety and also driving comfort because it gives a whole different braking experience, especially when I'm going downhill. But in the brake retarder function, we are generating a lot of energy that we are storing then in these super caps. This is just a short highlight of what we show here on the hybrid CBT. If you have any more questions, please feel welcome to come to the front to talk to me or one of my colleagues. Otherwise, I would like to wish you a nice show.